What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with a brand new top 10 for you guys today and today we are taking a look at top 10 kibble dinos. Now these guys are dinos that you can use to get eggs off to make kibble. So we've made a list based off the dinosaurs, based off their size, based off what size of eggs they give, what kibble it makes, all this sort of shabuzzle stuff. So guys, Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Now, before we start, one real quick thing that I wanna say is if you've got a higher tiered kibble, you can use that on a dino that has a lower tiered kibble. Now, let me clarify that just for you guys so that if you're a little bit confused. So for example, if I'm trying to tame up, say a raptor, they, their kibble is simple kibble. Now, for that, they require small eggs. If I want to use regular kibble to tame up the raptor, it'll have the same effectiveness as the simple kibble. So you can use a higher tiered kibble to tame a lower tiered kibble dino. So I hope that makes sense to you. It should make sense as we go through the video. So guys, without further ado, let's jump into it. Alrighty guys, coming in at number 10, we have the Megalosaurus. Now the Megalosaurus produces large eggs. This is used to make the third highest kibble, which is the superior kibble. So you can use this superior kibble to tame everything under the Megalosaurus's kibble, as well as creatures that use the superior kibble. Now, in terms of finding this guy and taming them, he's not too difficult to tame if you know how to do it. You pretty much want to trank him at the beginning of the day when it first hits morning, when you see them go to sleep, and then you want to make sure that you tame them up before night time. Now, for those of you on official, you will need to knock him out again at night time when it starts, and you just have to starve him like that. That is the best way to go about taming these guys, and these are the eggs here that it produces. Now, like I said, you can use these guys' eggs to make superior kibble, which you can use to tame dinos that take regular kibble, simple kibble, basic kibble, and superior kibble. So these guys allow you to tame up four different tiers of dinos, which is really good. And that both makes them number 10 on the list. Okay guys, so next up coming in at number nine, we have the Stegosaurus. Now the Stegosaurus is on this list as well because he has large eggs. Very similar, well exactly the same as the Megalo. These large eggs are used to make superior kibble, which like I mentioned previously, is used to tame up four tiers of dinosaurs, which is really good. Now, Stegos are higher than the Megalosauruses because people are going to tame Stegos, regardless of whether they want them or not, because Stegos are soakers. As well as that, they're also really good herbivore gatherers, so there is that as well. But that is the main reason that they are higher than the Megalosaurus. You'll notice that a couple of these dinosaurs on this list are going to be really multi-tiered useful dinosaurs. Like a lot of them have really good uses and that's why we've put them on the list over other ones. So yeah, like the Stego is great. He's a herbivore gatherer, he's a soaker and these are his eggs. And as well as that, he doesn't really take up too much space. Well, in terms of comparison, for example, the Spino is on the same tier as the Stego producing large eggs and you guys have seen how big bloody Spinos are. So there's a big difference in terms of size and these are his eggs. So guys that's why the Stego comes in at number 9. Now guys coming in at number 8 we have the Aloe. Now the Aloe once again produces large size eggs. I bet you guys did not see that coming and once again it can tame up to 4 tiers of dinosaurs with the kibble which like honestly is amazing which is why these guys are all on the list because their large eggs are one of the highest tiers it makes taming up the lower tiers a lot easier and these guys aren't too difficult to tame for example like the stego is a pretty easy tame the allosaurus is a semi difficult tame if you can't single out the rest of the pack but once you get them and you get a male female pair these guys produce eggs really well they don't take up much space like the Spino would, for example, and you can keep them pretty nice. As well as that, if you've got like pairs or triples of them, they also get the pack bonus, so you can still take these guys out and use them against the PvE world. For example, bosses, enemy dinos, even enemy bases if you're PvPing. And these are their eggs here, so they're pretty small, you know, it doesn't really matter about the size of the egg anyway, because like you don't see them out on the floor all that much, only when you're going around picking them up. So yeah, Allosauruses come in at number eight. You guys are probably noticing there's not really much information in this video. Doesn't really need to be. All I'm showing you is dinosaurs that you can use to make kibble to tame up other dinosaurs. It's not really anything I'm gonna freaking 
go on and on about because that's just not how we roll. Let's move on to number seven. Okay guys, coming in at number seven, we have the Kentrosaurus. Now the Kentrosaurus is at number seven and he produces medium sized eggs. Now medium sized eggs are used to produce regular kibble, which you can use to tame dinos that take basic kibble and simple kibble. So this guy technically produces enough kibble for tier three dinos. The reason he's a little bit higher than the other guys on the list is because he's really easy to tame. You just need to shoot at him from a distance. As well as that, you can use him in base defense, especially with dealing with gigas and their size. Their size really played a factor in where they were on the list. And you will obviously need medium sized dinosaurs to produce medium sized eggs. So you can get the lower tiered dinosaurs tamed up. Some of you are probably gonna argue, well, he should be number 10 or something because he only produces medium sized eggs. I just put him on here because I feel like he's a really easy to tame to get. And just starting off, you can easily like tame up heaps of these guys. So guys, the Kentrosaurus comes in at number seven. Now guys, coming in at number six, we have none other than the Snow Owl. Now the Snow Owl is one of the only extinction dinos, I think that produces large eggs. And that is the size of eggs he produces. Now, like I said previously, large eggs are used for superior kibble. So there's that as well. And this is their eggs down here. And you'll find that most players do tame up snow owls because of their healing factor. As well as that, they are great mounts to have on extinction as well. And they are pretty abundant in the snow area. Especially when you can find a lot of low level um, snow owl ones. Makes taming them up a lot easier and getting their eggs a lot easier. So guys, the snow owl comes in at number six on the list. Now guys, coming in at number five, we have the most chops. In my opinion, the most chops is probably easier than the dinos we've showcased previously on the list. Just because you can only really feed him rare flowers, rare mushrooms, uh, raw prime fish meat, raw prime meat. He's a pretty easy tame to get, unless of course you get screwed over and get given giant bee honey. You're not going to have much of a problem taming up a Mose Chops. Now the real funny thing about the Mose Chops is that these guys produce large eggs, which like I've mentioned, produces superior kibble. So that's four tiers of taming with this little tiny compact dude. You can get a whole heap of these guys, chuck them in your base and leave them there and they'll produce large eggs that'll allow you to tame up pretty much any dino. Like almost every single dino you can tame up with the most chops, except for like the larger tiered dinos. But the most chops is great for that because of how compact he is. And you're gonna be using most chops obviously to gather organic polymer, as well as anything else you really wanna get. So guys, that's why the most chops is number five on the list. Now coming in at number four, we have the big boy himself, the Rex. This guy produces extra large eggs. Now, extra large eggs are used to produce exceptional kibble, which allows you to tame five tiers of dinosaurs. So it's one above the superior kibble, which the large eggs produce. And like, you're obviously going to be taming up Rexes because of how great they are, because of their melee damage, because of their health, because you're probably gonna be using them for boss battles. So you might as well get a whole heap of Rexes. Now, tech Rex eggs also count as extra large eggs as well. So don't fret about that as well. But this is their eggs here. And like I said, they're used to tame up to five tiers of dinosaurs. We're not gonna go into depth of the dinosaurs, Pretty much it tames up any other extra large egg producers as well as everything beneath that. You guys can find a detailed guide or detailed list of the dinosaurs that are tamed on the Ark Wiki. So guys, let's move on to number three. Now coming in at number three, we have the Argenti large size. So it's large size eggs are able to produce superior kibble, which is actually one less than the Rex's eggs. Now, the reason the Argy is higher than the Rex is because most people's first tames are Argy's. So people are gonna have tons of Argy's because they're such good mounts because of their weight distribution, their health, and they can actually do some pretty decent damage. So everyone is going to pretty much tame Argy's. Now, honestly, Argy is probably one of the first tames you should go for because of their usefulness, but like their eggs are just easily able to be reproduced and you can easily tame up a whole heap of Argy's with one Argy trap. It's really easy to tame them up and that's why they're higher than the Rex because they still produce the four tiers of kibble and that really helps any player. So let's move on to number two. Now guys, coming in at number two, which to be honest with you, I'm a little bit confused about as to why he is one of the only dinos that produces these eggs. We have the Udiranus. Now the Udiranus produces special eggs. He's one of only four dinosaurs, one of four creatures 
to actually produce this egg and this kibble is the extraordinary kibble. So with this kibble, you can literally use it to tame any other dinosaur with kibble. Now, the other dinosaurs that produce this kibble are the rock drakes, the wyverns, and the Hesperonis, which honestly is a little bit strange because I don't know why the UD is here. Like, it's a little bit confusing to me. But anyway, now, he, like I said, he produces the special eggs. These are his eggs down here. Now, people will be taming up a couple of UDs because they're obviously going to be using them for boss fights and they will be breeding them. So they're obviously going to have a male and female pair. So there's no harm in using them for egg production as well because they produce the highest tiered kibble, which is really great. Now, you guys are probably wondering why they're not at number one. We'll explain when we get to number one. Now, guys, number one is the Therizinosaur. Now, this guy produces extra large eggs, which is the same tier as the Rex eggs, which means the Therry eggs can produce exceptional kibble, which allows you to tame the five previous tiers. Now, extraordinary kibble isn't actually different from the exceptional kibble. The only difference is that you could potentially raise a dino and it might ask for the extraordinary kibble. That is literally the only difference between the Extraordinary Kibble and the Exceptional Kibble. So the Yudi produces the Extraordinary with his special egg and the Yudera uh, sorry, the Theory produces the Exceptional Kibble with its extra large egg. I know it's a lot to take in, I'm trying to simplify it for you guys as best as possible, but yeah. Now, Therys are great teams, they're obviously wood harvesters, they're obviously berry gatherers and fiber gatherers, as well as that you can use them for boss fights as well because they take the sweet veggie cakes, which really helps, and you can use them on the dragon. And as well as that, these guys are the smallest creature you can get for the extra large eggs. The extra large egg, like tier, contains the brontos, the basilisks, all the really large herbivore and carnivores. The Therry is the smallest one and he doesn't take up much space, which is what makes him number one in my opinion. These are his eggs here, you can see that they are very small as well and they're relatively easy to tame up once you build a decent trap. You do just have to be careful otherwise they will knock you off your mount. But yeah, that's why the Therries overtake the Uteranuses in my opinion, because of the, like they can tame up the exact same creatures. So yeah, and the Therry is a lot smaller than the Uteranus and a lot more found than the Uteranus. It's a lot more widespread. So guys, that'll wrap up the video today. Let me know what you thought of the list of kibble dinos below. You probably will want to change some of them around in your opinion, which I can agree with you, but this is the way I designed the list and I'm happy with how it all came out. So guys, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to check out the other top 10 playlists. But other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. And I got this soda,